Dr. Jones, would you agree that it's important to keep detailed records of your patient? Objection, the defense attorney yells. You want to know what the judge is likely going to do when I ask this question at trial? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. So now it's a medical malpractice trial. I now have an opportunity to cross-examine the doctor that you have sued. He's likely going to be my very first witness. And as my first witness, because he's an adverse witness, I have the opportunity to ask leading questions. So now one of the questions I want to ask is, doctor, would you agree that it's important to keep detailed, accurate records of your patient? Doctor has to say yes, right? Now why would I ask such a simple basic question? I ask it because I want the doctor to acknowledge, I want him to recognize, I want the jury to recognize that the doctor understands how important it is to keep detailed accurate records. Now why is that? Because later on when we go through the doctor's records I'm going to show to the jury that his records really are not detailed, that his records really are not as accurate as they should be. So now the defense is going to look at this argument and say that's absolute nonsense even if the doctor's records aren't detailed and even if they aren't as accurate as they should be that didn't cause the patient's injuries. And you know what we say to that? You're absolutely right. We agree with you 100% Mr. Defense Attorney. So now why are we making the argument? Because we want to show to the jury that the doctor was careless, careless in his record keeping, careless in treating this patient, in that he violated the basic standards of medical care and as a result of that caused this patient harm. And we will show to the jury that we are more likely right than wrong than what we are claiming is true. This is just one component of what the doctor does to see and treat this particular patient. And one of the things I like to ask the doctor is, doctor, wouldn't you agree that you see many patients each day? Yes, I do. And you see many patients each week? Correct. And one of the reasons why it's important for you to keep accurate, detailed records is so that you know when the patient returns back to your office, you can look in your notes to see exactly what complaints the patient made, to see what examination you conducted, and to see what your observations and findings were. Isn't that true? Yes, it is. And doctor, if you do not keep detailed records, how then are you going to remember all of that information the next time the patient returns to you months later. And if the doc, no matter what answer the doctor gives, it's not going to be believable if he says, oh, I remember all the details. Really? You see thousands of patients each year? You're telling us that you can remember every single detail for every single patient? It's simply impossible. And the jury will immediately recognize that. So that's why I asked the question, doctor, do you agree it's important for you to keep detailed records? And then the doctor's going to argue with me about exactly what constitutes detailed and accurate records. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in a medical malpractice trial here in the state of New York. You know, I realize you've got questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if you're contemplating bringing a lawsuit and you've got legal questions and you'd like answers to those questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski lawcom That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.